for the record, I'm in pajamas, <laughs> but you can't tell this angle. Hi everyone, I'm just here for a super quick video today, hopefully. I am so unprepared, who surprised not? Me. So the lovely Zach over at Zach's Books, channel linked below, basically dared me to do a TBR for once in my fucking life. Because I did say in my goals video that I wanted to try and do TBRs. So I have eight books here that I want to try and get through in January because to hit 100 books I have to read about eight books a month. So a few of these are quite short some well one actually they're all very short bar one so i'm kind of cheating but i don't care obviously i have made sure to put a reread in and a middle grade so hitting those goals <laughs> and i'm just gonna show you what i have so first i have long way down by jason reynolds this is a novel in verse and i I'm so excited for this. I'm so bullshit and like I haven't already read this, but you have to wait till my wrap up unless you have me on Goodreads, in which case you already know that I really like this and gave it four stars. For the record, I am reworking my star ratings scheme this year because I feel like I give three stars, forget four star exists and just jump straight to five stars. So I want to try and give less three stars and less five stars. So this got a four star because five stars being reserved for the best of the fucking best. <laughs> I am currently reading Sky Song by Abby Elphinstone, which look at those spread edges, gorgeous. This is my middle grade read for the month. I adored Abby's previous middle grade series, The Dream Snatcher Trilogy. All three of those books were stunning and this has been out for like two years or something and I have just been so unable to believe that she's written about someone other than Maul and Griff, but the time is now. I need to support this woman because she is a queen, genuinely. The amount of travelling she does, and she had a, like she literally was in hospital for months with, before having her baby and was writing there. She now has her baby and takes him on these like big hike things. Like she like travels the world and actually talks to people who are from cultures that she chooses to write about and I just think she is a fucking machine and I love her. I love her. So I'm very excited about this. It, set in a sort of icy world it's like up in the like north i want to say it's in the north it's one of those places where the sun doesn't rise for six months and it doesn't set for six months but i am so excited there's like an ice queen and it's going to be amazing i'm also reading the teenage guide to stress by nicola morgan no i'm not a teenager however it was in a charity shop and I want to try and read self-help books. I want to see how well self-help books work for me. But, I mean, technically, actually, from the um, introduction, this does talk about how, like, the teenage brain is different and how it doesn't really work like an adult until, like, you're about 25. So, technically, I still count. <laughs> so, we'll see if this is any use to me. My reread for the month is going to be Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. I have wanted to reread this for so long, I need to find Love Star Girl on my shelf so I can read it either this month or next month once I've reread this, but I'm so excited. I also want to read The State of Grace by Rachel Lucas. This is one of the books that the gorgeous Becca sent me. She actually sent me um, Long Way Down as well, so there we go. It's a month of Becca books, <laughs> but I am so excited for this book. There's a whole bunch of books I have sitting that I really want to get to soon, but I pulled this one out because I got it first. and. I am buzzing to get to it. My big book is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. I'm saying big book as if I'm like making it a goal to read big books but I mean to be fair it is like 450 pages so guess I'm reading a big book a month of it. <laughs> but I'm sure you all know what this is. I got this from the lovely Chinoa. She done a giveaway, I won the giveaway, I got this and another book that I will get to hopefully in the next couple months. I just want to start reading this right now as well as everything else. It's a struggle. This is why I don't like TBRs because like I want to read these right now but then tomorrow I might be like hey I don't want to read those. <laughs> I've picked A Portable Shelter by Christy Logan because it's super short. I really need to get to all my Christy Logans. I love The Grace Keepers. I'm swinging, it's really gonna annoy me. But I have her other novel, The Gloaming, to get to, but I decided I will pick up her short story collection. It's, I'm saying short story collection, it's actually like a novella of short stories, but it's all like connected. I don't even know, but I wanna read this. And finally, Every Heart Adore Me by Seanan McGuire. It has been 
way too long that I've had this book on my shelves. As I say, I had this book on my shelves like before people started raving about it and now everyone's raving about it and I'm like, hold on, I need to be on this train. I should have been on this train before the train existed. So hopefully we'll get to this soon. Now, obviously these eight books are all pretty short, so it shouldn't be difficult for me to get to them all. Emma. I want to hit the ground running in 2019. I want to be way ahead of schedule so that when the inevitable slump happens, I have a backup. <sighs> we shall see. But that is my TBR. I feel weird doing a TBR. Um, will I stick to it? We will find out in a few weeks in my wrap up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Zach's channel and I don't know, thank him for making me do a TBR if you like to shout at him. Don't shout at him if you don't like TBRs, just shout at me instead because Zach's too nice to be shouted at. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!